now we'll do a multiple regression with this. Um, so we're trying to predict price. We're also going to use color as a feature. So these colors are categories. We need to treat them like categories, not like uh, numerical values. It's not like two is somehow better than one or three is better than one. There's just um, categories for color. So again, we'll use Excel stat. It's going to remember what we put in before. So we've got our Y variable and our X variable. Also have a qualitative variable, that's a category for C. What's nice is that Excel stat can handle this and give us a value. So there were three colors, one, two, and three. And again, we have our goodness of fit measure. So that's the proportion of the variance explained by the model. It was 0.4, or 0.64 with just odometer. It's now up to 0.7, so it's increased, but not by a whole lot. Um, our F statistic is still large, so it's unlikely that these are all equal to zero. Um, we can look here and see that most of these are statistically significant. The color um, one actually is not statistically significant. You can see that here, that our p-value is, is large, so it's not statistically significant different than zero. So this value could in fact be zero. And you'll notice that the color three is zero, and that's because you can't have all three of these in, and that becomes what they call perfect multicollinearity, because a color, car is either in color one, two, or three, in, um, so it's one of those three things, which means if I know two of these pieces of information, I automatically know the third. So if I know it's color one, I know it's not color two or three. If I know it's not color one and it's not color two, then it must be color three. Right, so this just gets dropped out of the model. That's a standard thing with regression. Finally, we have our equation down here. Um, the value for color two and color one, these are dummy variables. So it's either one if it's color one or zero otherwise, or one if it's color two or zero otherwise. And we have a, um, an odometer value. And that is a multi-variate uh, regression, linear regression using the car prediction data.